Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, guess what? We're one day, well now two days, into the new fiscal year and Disney is already jacking prices up on food. They started yesterday. They started yesterday. Day one. One day. One day into the new fiscal year. We told you stuff was going to happen uh, because there was uh, 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 some underperformance, putting it mildly. Some, yeah. In the parks in the last quarter. And here we go. They're already jacking the food prices up now they did this last year too at about the same time um and it starts to really add up because you know we're talking 50 cents to a dollar it's like on 20 cents items. 20 cents to like some places are a dollar the the resort refillable mugs if you're not familiar if you stay at one of the disney resorts you can get a refillable mug that it's good for your entire stay and you can go to the, to the soda machines and refill it and drink as much as you want basically except they now they put a timer on it you have to wait so long in between but um it was uh 18.99 that was up from a couple years ago and now they've raised it up to 19.99 and then uh WW, wdw news today noticed that they started raising stuff 20 cents here 20 cents there 50 cents whatever it, a dollar lit literally nickel and diming yeah the people who are there because the attendance is down they have to make the money up somewhere they raise prices over the summer in anticipation of Galaxy's Edge and it blew up in their faces. Actually, people did not turn out in the numbers they expected them to. So now they have to make up that money someplace else. Right, and people were like, well, it's, it's, it's only a small amount, who cares? Yeah, it's a small amount, but for a family of four or five, that could be a few extra dollars a day or more times the whole trip could be like, you know, $50 and up. Mm. I don't know what else they've raised yet, but they will. And then you have how many families visiting or people visiting, that's gonna add up to a lot of money. Yeah, we're gonna talk about all the cutbacks that are probably coming. Uh, we're going to talk about the price increases again we're into disney's new fiscal year mm -hmm. we're into their 2020 fiscal year their fiscal year ends the end of september if bad stuff is going to happen it's going to start happening now so before we get into the video please subscribe to clownfish tv if you have not done so already we passed 64,000 subs hoping to get to 100,000 subs and we can do it with your help yeah so hopefully. thank you thank you for that so you want to get your your daily dose of dismal disney uh, news here. Why are you thinking we're always Dismal Disney? Not? Actually, we're I'm just... not. If you go to our my regular blog, I'm not always Dismal Disney. But if you go down here, I was going to show you like some of the price increases. Um, they said the Mickey pretzel is now six not, six seventy nine. It was six fifty nine before. Seven dollars for I remember a pretzel. The, I remember when they were like four ninety nine just pretzel. a couple years ago. Oh but good God. news, it has a snack credit option if you have snack, if you have the meal plan, which keeps probably keep, keeps going up too. Oh God, the meal plans are going through the roof. Well, too. now they keep offering free dining, so they have to offset that cost somewhere. And then they have the churros were they were five eighty nine, now they're six nineteen. You can go to Sam's Club and get a churro and a drink for like a dollar or something. Yeah, I just want to compare because they just ra they raised the prices on the food last year too. Uh, let me see here. It's right. Uh, this is coming from Disney Tourist Blog last okay. year. They raised, and you can see how much they yeah, did. Yeah, I know the sodas went up a lot. Yeah, I mean, everything just is, is going up and up and up. And how much was the Mickey pretzel there? Uh, last year, the Mickey pretzel was, I think they updated, they updated this. Oh, okay. Uh, I do know that they had a price increase last October, too. And again, it always, always coincides with the new fiscal year. Mm -hmm. That's when the layoffs happen. Um, that's when they start doing corporate shuffling. They already started to shuffle. At the top, they shuffled the deck. They, they, they. Uh, I think, and you think, they fired Catherine Powell. Uh, I just don't understand why she would just quit because it's like, well, she, she, she agreed it was, you know, we took a five-year job and did 18 months, and she agreed it was time to move on. She's been there 20 years. Most other executives just get shifted to another place. Yeah, they would have just put her so, someplace else. I don't know. It's just odd. I think somebody had to pay for Galaxy's Edge. I mean, look, Deadline Hollywood. Galaxy's Edge, lackluster. If you go out and, and do a search for Galaxy's Edge, it's, it's almost all bad news, right? So somebody mm. had to pay. So let's uh, uh, let's throw a woman, a woman executive, under the wheels of the bus. And we Disney. don't know what happened, to be fair, but uh, it is uh, odd. Yeah, it's odd. How come uh, how come Bob Chapek's not falling? And on then the, sword? the position, so the position was was eliminated, and that and now, but but then they put all these other people in positions that answer the Chapek now, and each is in charge of different parks where she was in charge. Like it was they, someone underneath her, then her, then Chapek, right? It's my understanding. Yeah, yeah. They got rid of her position and now it's just these people report to Chapek. So it's just like... Yeah, I think it's it's a way of saving face. I think they're like, oh, we didn't actually fire her. We just got rid of her well, we position. We can't have the bobs get cut, so... No, because a lot of people are, are speculating... the bobs. Yeah, but the bobs. Uh, or uh, office space. This is like office space. It's like what, the bobs. What, the stapler? The bobs are coming in to uh, cut... Yeah, I mean, this is crazy. 
Um, so yeah, the pretzel, seven bucks. Churros, over six dollars. Cream cheese pretzels, seven bucks. Casey's Corner. Well, yeah, hot... I have to figure these are without tax. I think they have tax on food. And Florida. Yeah, Florida's, Florida's taxes are high. Over at Casey's Corner, corn dog nugget meals, ten bucks. Loaded fries are seven dollars. So, I mean, yeah, it's, look, it sounds like it's not a big deal. But Disney has, in the last two or three years, they've raised the food prices a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're not, you know, just just the last two or three years, they've, they've nickel and dimed people on things like parking. Now yeah. they charge for overnight parking at the hotel. Until, yeah, they used to be free. It was complimentary. Now you have to pay for it. They no. already charge twice as much to stay on property as it probably would cost to stay anywhere else. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the perks of that was the complimentary parking. They took that away. It's now twenty or twenty-five dollars a night. They to keep park. raising the parking to park at the actual parks. Now, if you drive yourself and you're staying on property, they don't charge you. But those of you that might be at an outside hotel coming in, well, if you drive yourself, you got to pay. Yeah, so. yeah, it's it's crazy. It's uh, you know, they're they're charging for bell services now. Mm -hmm. It used to be that you would you know tip your bell hop, and now it's like there's a minimum charge, I think, per bag or it, something. Yeah. I mean, just little things like this, they add up. This is how Disney basically just pushes the money around. There are fewer people going to the parks, but they're charging them more. Right, so the money looks like it's, it's, it's gone up, but it's because of all these nickel and dime charges right. that add up. Like, it's like they had hackers or whatever. It was the hackers they, that he was taking like one penny or two pennies off every transaction. I think it was Superman 3, too. Well, they did that, too. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, and then it ended up like, the you know, office. being all this money. And I'm like, yeah. And they're going 20 cents to a dollar or plus, you know? Yeah. So so, so this is when the cutbacks are going to happen, too. And they're, like we said, they're already shuffling at the top. Um, you know, when is it going to be too much for I, people? I think I mean, it already is. And then, then do you take, you get that uh, teamed up with the fact that they're, you know, people arguably are killing, it's killing off Star Wars. Yeah. And, you know, and they're so afraid that Star Wars is going to fail and they're doing all kinds of stuff there. Well, that's another video. And then you have like the Epcot, the new Epcot Forever show, which was supposed to be an homage to Epcot and it ended up being mostly a, a retro Epcot that ended with a whole new world and people were like what and it just it's hard to explain but people were like what the heck and basically it's just basically telling you if you were changing Epcot whether you like it or not and it's just you know there's they don't it's just they're so tone deaf on so many levels I just think people were just like nope done yeah no thank you yeah no thank you and it's it's getting those it, are cool mugs though. yeah they are cool mugs and you but get to keep the mug so 20 bucks i guess is fair they were like what 13 bucks I think but they, like, they used to be like 13 or 14 yeah and then they start creeping up and up and up and every year they basically they jack everything up 50 cents to a dollar more mm -hmm. the ticket prices go up there's a big issue uh last year going into this year where the ticket prices now are, are date based and it's confusing as hell it is confusing and it used and to be that they'd raise them like once a year and now it's been like they've raised it two or three times and then they raise the annual passes which you're gonna bring up yeah yeah so this just happened again this is uh this was in june this was in june but this definitely hurt them they jacked up the prices of the annual passes ahead of galaxy's edge because they think that uh you know they think they're sitting on a gold mine and they're finding out that it's 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 pyrite Disney Star Wars is not worth as much as, as actual Star Wars right. was worth. And people aren't coming to Galaxy's Edge in the numbers that they expected. They open half a park. The one ride they have isn't that spectacular. And they're raising all the prices. People are just getting tired of it. Mm -hmm. They're tired of it. Um, annual passes. This did a lot of people in. I mean, this is, you know, we did a video and an article a couple weeks ago about uh, Pete Werner with the Diz, who's, you know, one of the top travel agents in the country. And he's like, they priced me out. He's like, I literally, I, I go to Disney for a living mm -hmm. and I cover Disney for a living and they priced me out with the, the, yeah, passes. I'm hearing it from lots of people and you know, it's just, I think that they've learned what, what's too much and I think we're hitting what's too much for people, not just on money, but like on changing and everything else It's just, it's just becoming too much. And then you have their Disney plus and their constant movies and it's like, they can't, they want your money all the time. Yeah. And it's just people are just getting turned off by it because it's i can't afford to keep paying you and paying you and paying you and paying you i just can't and i still think they're going to raise uh, disney plus up uh, pretty soon after it starts I think they, within a year they'll raise it i think they're going to have to because you know we did a video yesterday that some of these disney plus shows are going to cost 25 million dollars an episode they're going to mm -hmm. be on par with a theatrical release and they're trying to get people into the door but 
you know all for seven dollars a month which is not gonna last that's not gonna last either they're gonna it's be not sustainable commercials or they're gonna jack it up to 20 bucks a month or something something is gonna or have plus, the other plus where you have to pay just to get the the star wars content or the marvel content or whatever yeah the other the other giant yellow shoe is gonna drop mm -hmm. uh pretty soon they're, this is not sustainable and it's almost like they're spending a bunch of money right out of the gate to uh try to bury netflix as fast as they can the problem is there was a huge snag with the plan because if the parks had continued to perform like they expected, I think they they banked on that Galaxy's Edge money. They're like, oh, Galaxy's Edge will basically pay for Disney Plus, you know. So let's spend a bunch of money. Well, the how smart is that? You're going to run Netflix out, but then all that's going to happen is Apple or somebody like that's going to buy Netflix. One of the competitors yep. is going to buy Netflix and be bigger than you because you got all the money to buy Netflix. I could I could totally see Apple coming in buying. I could right. see them buying Netflix before Sony. Right. So I think someone else is going to grab it if yeah. they decide to put it for sale. And it's not going to be Disney because they're not going to have the money. So all they did was make one of the other comp competitors bigger. You're better to have a couple smaller competitors than one giant one that could actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. And that's all they're going to do is chase it into a place where somebody else buys it and makes it. And it's going to be bigger for them. Yeah, it's um, and that's it. Because Apple right now, I mean, the fact that they're, they're talking about buying Sony... That's kind of desperation because Sony's about the only cut that, you know, Sony's got some good stuff, but not a whole, like all the really good stuff's on NBC and, and uh, of course, ABC, which is Disney and Warner Brothers. So Sony, you're kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel. I think you're getting like Columbia Pictures and some of the, you know, but you're not getting like the, the top shelf no. content. Uh, Netflix, you get stranger things you'd get you know <laughs> she-ra she well no i think that's it if, i know i know we've mentioned before so yeah. we'll probably go to universals she was so gonna, gonna go get to the, the cock, cock. peacock I'm sorry that was I, that, that was, was an unfortunate worst. name that was but you know again just look at the last week or so they knew that the books i and i can't wait to see the uh it's financials get better and better and better yeah and again we have disney stock so i'm kind of like like Ew. i think but, they all know that by now you mentioned it i often. know but people are like oh my god you want disney to fail it's like no i, I really don't i'm just it's like a train wreck i don't I can't, either i mean i can't I, stop watching it i've grown up in the parks i love the parks I like Disney. Well, I liked Disney. I don't like what they're doing with some... They're making some really questionable choices. And I don't like the fact that they own everything. And it's almost like you're held at gunpoint. If you wanted things you love, you have to give them your money. And I don't like that. I don't think they should be allowed to own everything. It's a problem. But I do like the parks. And I do like the... Pe I love the cast members. The cast members of the parks are what make the park special. If they didn't have the cool cast members, I don't think I'd care. Yeah. Um, The cast members, you know, are what make it great. And I don't think they're recognized enough, so I'll constantly recognize them. And I have a Haunted Mansion problem and a merchandise problem. So I do like it. But I also am I'm reasonable to the place where it's like, well, you're even going to price us out. We're probably still going to go. I'm just going to be really creative on how I find ways to pay for it. And I'm going to go out there and promote ways to get things cheaper. One way, if you like Disney merchandise, buy it on eBay because you can get it a hell of a yeah, lot cheaper than in the parks. True. That's true. I buy all my Alex Nani bracelets on eBay now because they're half the price. Even with the new releases, you got me one for our anniversary and you paid like $15 less without, it doesn't even count tax or shipping. So give them, don't, don't go to, don't buy the parks. If you see something you like, check eBay. Anyway. That, that's true. Well, I just want to point out again, uh, for those of you who missed, uh, we did a video a week or two ago talking about all the entertainment cutbacks. Yeah. You know, speaking of the cast members, they do suffer when, when Disney makes bonehead decisions like this, they suffer because they start cutting all these live acts with all these performers uh they cut uh, you know obviously the the muppet great moments muppet mm -hmm. history uh, people tried to get that back and it didn't work but however they have a petition to get the photo pass people back and they did get them back um the photo pass people okay they had put boxes up for photo pass okay just so you understand they were like automatic kiosk where we take yeah. your picture like we've seen them before other events where they you give a time a countdown to get posed or whatever well, they took the photo pass photographers out and put those in. It did not go well. They had a, a, a petition. People signed like crazy because they want the photo pass photographers back. Because one, they're better pictures. They're interactive. They're really friendly. It's someone's job. Yeah. Um. So they brought they brought them back at least at least to the to, to the Mickey uh, meet and greet at yeah. Magic Kingdom. Um. Uh, so now they're trying. There's a petition out there, I believe, to try to get the Muppets brought back too. So if you want if you want to do sign on that, go ahead. Yeah. So so we're yeah we're losing live photographers now. They just have these stupid little boxes because well, it didn't to... go well people flipped out yeah um well yeah because you know i mean at that point like why why need
need why do you need the photo pass at all? Just take your phone and, and take selfies. But the cool thing about the photo pass photographers are even if you don't have photo pass, you don't want to pay for photo pass, they would take a picture for you. And this way, uh, you either you got a picture taken, but you had to buy the photograph photo. Mm. Um, there was no one to take your picture for. I mean, they might have cast members that take a picture for you, but it's not the same thing. And the photo pass people are really friendly and they're fun, and I think people just really appreciate that and they knew it was someone's job. But yeah, I mean that's it. They're losing jobs. They 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 get greedy, and it's actually costing them money. It's costing uh, people money. It's costing them their livelihoods. Uh, you know, Magic Kingdom's Liberty Square Muppet Show, which is actually the best thing they've done with the Muppets in years. They pulled the plug. I don't even think it's been around. It's only been around for what a year or two. Yeah, it wasn't it's not long. that old. Couple, no, it's been longer than that. I don't know, but it still hasn't been long. Uh, the Royal Majesty Makers got cut. The Coco Puppet Show, which was new this year. It was March. They yeah. started that. So six months. It's gone. It's gone. The Jaminators. Uh, they just, and, and the drummers, they cut them back. They didn't cut them completely, but they cut them back. I mean, they're they're cutting back on live performers. They did it in Disneyland, too. I mean, this is not good. And what happens is it snowballs. Like, you cut back on the mm -hmm. offerings, but you raise the price. So you're, you're basically telling the guests you pay more for less. Well, here's what's interesting, you know? too. And I was going to mention this because I knew this about this, actually. In recent years, Disney has shifted from hiring equity actors and other outsourced entertainment to hiring much cheaper non-union and experienced performers. Mm -hmm. This shift saw substantial cutbacks to the equity-represented citizens of Hollywood performers. So they're actually going around finding these people that they can get cheaper that aren't union-based so that they can just cut them at will. That, I knew about that. That's so why I went back down to read that. Part. Oh, everybody's everybody's cutting union workers, and yeah, I mean it's it's traditional for look. You know, I mean we have people on both sides. You know how they feel about unions. Uh, in entertainment, unions are pretty common. Um, they're you know the different guilds and whatever. And Disney historically has worked with people in unions, but yeah, that that's pretty much it. There, this is even going back to you know people are like, why why is Disney PR and marketing so bad? Uh, and I will be completely honest, having having you know uh, dealt with people, it's because a lot Plus of times they, you were from PR marketing. Yeah, they're they're working with inexperienced people. They're uh, yeah. uh, you know uh, there's a joke that Disney is run by interns it on the college pretty, program. It really is. They keep adding housing to bring in more college program kids. Yeah, and so what they're getting, and again, this is not a slap at at anyone who's uh, you know in the college program because there are some great great kids working in the college program, but you know, you have a lot of inexperienced people. Mm -hmm. And um, that's not really fair throwing them into that too without no. any, anyone to, you know, help them. Because, you know, if I don't have experience in something, I don't know, I know how to do it right off perfectly. And then, and then every few months it rotates to somebody else. So as soon as I learn what I'm doing, I'm gone. Yeah, it's like, hey, you're 22 years old. Let's, uh, let's put you in charge of uh, marketing some big new event uh -huh. in Disney. And then if it fails miserably... Uh, you're out the door, mm -hmm. but you were 22 years old and you probably weren't prepared for it, mm -hmm. you know, because the the 60 year old person experience does count. The 60 year old person was too expensive, and we got rid of them 20 years ago, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, so yeah, that's that's a big part of it. But yeah, they're just they're cutting corners, and it makes it really hard to make a case for you jacking your ticket prices and jacking your annual passes when you're giving people less. Well, not giving just, them yeah, less. and then they're finding ways to have cheap labor, yeah. which isn't fair to the people that they're that are working either, you know. And they're just doing that to try to make it their cost, their overhead as, as small as possible, so they pocket more money. Right, and that's what this whole thing's about. And and uh, you know, so you know, they're cutting cutting corners, obviously at Fox. We knew that was coming. They're going to get rid of a lot of redundancies, but they're I mean, they're they're just completely gutting Fox now. I expect more cutbacks in entertainment. Um, this is going to be, this is going to be interesting to watch though. I would say within the next two to three weeks, uh, you're going to probably see more announcements of layoffs, cutbacks. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to wonder price what, increases, price increases. We got to wonder what's going to happen with rise of the resistance. It's supposed to open in, uh, December. We've heard it's in trouble. I got to wonder if they aren't going to cut corners on it just to I, get it I'm done. I'm sure they're going to, but they're going to promote the hell out of it. Just like rise of Skywalker. They're, yeah. they're, they're not going to admit defeat. They're just going to rise. They're going to raise any possible chance they can of getting people. They're going to throw everything they got at it. Yeah. Um, so we're going to keep an eye on this. Again, this is uh, uh, kind of a subject that's near and dear to us. And we're just kind of watching the whole thing. So people are like, you're haters. No, actually, we're no. upset because we care. If we didn't care, we wouldn't say anything. We just wouldn't yeah. talk about it. We wouldn't even look into it. Just like you say, why do I nag you all the time? I'm like, well, if I didn't care, I wouldn't say anything. <laughs> so... Okay, so we're going to keep an eye on this. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants here on Clownfish TV. This has been Neon and Geeky. Bye. Goodbye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's 
clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.